Hello everyone. So this is my last day at Sacred Circle Books. So I thought I'd do a quick video on closure. <laughs> so I've noticed just with a lot of people that things are coming into a place of finality. We're engaging the last moments of things, whether they be relationships, job situations, even you know, it can be anything. Life. Every moment someone is experiencing the finality of life itself. And I've gotten a really great chance to embrace impermanence through this experience. When life changes rapidly, we don't often have time to cling. And a lot of times the thing that keeps us from having true closure is the clinging to the experience. And the desire to have something remain the way it is, even though it's not, and it's changing, causes the suffering. So the desire to have something be other than it is causes us to suffer. And we're clinging to the old image, the old idea of things have to be this way. Things have to be the way they are, but things are constantly changing. And what I've had happen over the past couple of days is a what I call a softening of the heart. Um, yesterday it was really intense. I was going up the escalator in Columbia Heights. I was going to the gym. And in that moment, I just had this deep love for that escalator. Um, my heart softened to the experience that this is the last time, one of the last times I'm going to be on this escalator. And I've never really paid attention to the escalator. The movement, the sound, the vibration, the people around me. And I came fully into that moment, and it was a softening. So when the heart softens, it cracks open just a little bit and allows us to feel the entirety of the experience. We spend a lot of time layering on coats, layering on walls, putting on masks. And what I've found is it takes a lot of work to keep up those appearances. It takes a lot of work to to not be who we are. And at some point we have to rest and we have to just be who we are in the moment. Life will continue forward. <laughs> you know, it always keeps moving. But we have to find moments where we just get to sit in our own presence and to love everything, even the struggle, even the upheaval. Hating it doesn't make it go away. But we have to sit with the resistance, and we sit with the anger, and we sit with the whatever's coming up. But we have to give ourselves a chance to soften, to say thank you even to the difficulties, and to sit with all that stuff that's coming up as we till the soil. And like I said in the last video, tilling the soil is messy. It gets dirty. You know, and this is the time where a lot of people are just getting dirty. And it's okay to be dirty. It's okay to, to dig down and see what's there, plant new seeds, Uncertainty does not equal impossibility. It just means that life is changing, and it's changing for you, and it's changing, and things are evolving. You know, welcome to your graduation day. Now it's time to test out all this wonderful spiritual stuff that you've been collecting and learning and experiencing. So, you know, as I find closure, closure is just saying, I love you to all of this. You know, even the struggle, even the difficulties that I've had, you know, in my time here, I, I love it all now. And I've, I've found that for me, softening into the moment, not sitting with the resistance, but allowing the resistance to crack me open a bit. You know, just being here with all of it, with all of you. So, more videos to come as I make my move down to South Carolina. So it's wonderful having this new phone because I can actually start doing more of these. So uh, again, if there are things you want to hear me talk about, you can place them in the comment section below. I'm going to be doing some videos on meditation. I'm going to be doing some videos on the spirituality of fitness, yoga. I'll be doing little satsangs using this as a tool to engage our global community. So anyways, as always, you are all love. You are all beautiful. And you are all divine. Namaste.